Hey, 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 it's Elia K. Here I am talking about the Compel Don't Sell theory. Do, 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 do. And today we're going to talk about stories. <laughs> We're going to talk about the five key stories you must be able to tell as an entrepreneur. Indeed, we will. That's right. That is what we're talking about. But first, remember to comment, subscribe, and follow us elsewhere on social media. It's all available on the channel. You, you should see it. See it around. It's there. Look for it. Click. Banner. In the comments. The notes. Follow. Let's talk about stories. If you want to compel and not sell, even though you're selling, but you're not sleazy, pushy, or you might hate the notion. Stories is your ways forward. Stories enroll your audience. Stories win over crowds. Stories is the most effective way to get people to buy from you. If you control the narrative as a company, if you control the story narrative in your industry, not only are you an authority, but you have people lining up to do business with you. Do you understand that? I hope so. There's five key stories every entrepreneur should be able to tell. Five. I'm going to tell them right here, right now. Number one, your personal story. You should be able to tell your personal story as long as it's appropriate and it relates to your ideal audience and it relates to your customers. The second one is your credibility. What's the story of your credibility? How did you get to where you are today? And what was the steps you took to get there? Now, that's not your personal story. It's the story of your credibility. Third one, business origin idea or your business story. How'd you get going? How did you come up with the concept? How did you build, etc. the story of your business? Number four, success stories. Success stories or case studies. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stories you must be able to tell. And five, your vision. You can share your vision. I see a world where my vision for the industry is, my vision for this globe for you as humanity is, then people buy into you. Now, the more you use stories effectively, the, the more you'll compel and the less you have to sell because the stories will do the selling for you. So if you look at your talks, or if you might be building a talk, but if you look at your talks and you don't have any stories in there, get some stories in there. Now, they have to be the right stories. Now, if you don't have stories and you're just beginning, use celebrity stories. Use people in your industry stories. That's okay, because you're crediting them and you're using it for the right reasons. Yes, you're using it to show them off, to show that they were here and then now they're here. And, you know, through using your, someone like yourself, you can help people get there. That's okay, until you have your own stories. Just make sure that you're always using stories to empower your audience to make a decision to buy from you, not to manipulate them. There's a big difference. Don't be a douche. Got it? Five stories you must be able to tell if you want to compel not sell. Credibility, personal story, business origin or business story, case studies, vision. All right? Look at your talk, incorporate the stories, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, be seen, be heard, and always use your voice for good.